Hey there, my name is Catherine. The reason I'm doing this video is because I did one back in December of 2016 and because Google has updated its information and changed some of the information in the Google Drive, I've decided to uh, redo this video. Um, I, uh, Along with uploading the video, I will also place a link in the description area of the old video to kind of get people to go to the more updated version. So what we're going to do is um, in order to create a spreadsheet and a form so that when persons are filling out this form and you want to catch their information for instance their uh, their email, their name, their phone number, that type of thing maybe it's for a business that you're in um, and you want to collect information for people that are following you maybe it's a celebration or uh, you know birthday and anniversary and you want to gather information for uh, anyone that uh, is going to come to that party or that um, that meeting or whatever it may be for so what we're going to do is we're going to start out and you're going to actually go to what these nine little dots right here, these little square boxes, and you're going to click on that. And it's going to, and you're going to click on uh, Google Drive. And to create a new form, and that's what you want to do first before you do the spreadsheet, is you want to create your new form. So when you click that new button, you're going to go down here to more. And where it says Google Forms, it's got another arrow. And you can do forms that are already uh, in templates for you, and you can change those but I find that the easier way to do it is just to do a blank form. So I'm going to go that route and then um, show you how that works. Okay, so let's just do this as a test at the moment. Okay, and then if we come up here and click this, it will change it to test as well. Now, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how we're going to collect the email addresses. So we don't need this here, so we're going to um, take that off and we're going to click save. All right. Now, of course, we don't want options. We want to be able to put information in there so just for them to enter. So when we click on this box area, it will come up with multiple uh, options here to do. So we're going to click on the multiple choice and we're going to go up to paragraph. That way we can just enter, for instance, a name. OK, now you can put a first name, then you can do another box that says last name, or you can just do this box that says maybe full name. OK, now this is probably something you're going to want as a requirement. Um, you're going to want that person's name. You're going to want to know what the information or who the information goes to. And down here you'll see where it says required. If you click this little box right here, it will have a little red Aztec that will show up for them on the form, letting them know that the information is required. Okay, now to add another box, you would click on this plus sign and you can see where it says add questions to the right of it here. So we're going to click here and it's going to add another one. Of course, it says options again, so we don't want that. Now you do have uh, many different choices here that you can add for multiple choice, check boxes, drop downs, uh, file uploads. I mean, you can do pretty much here. So we're going to do add another paragraph and let's do email here so that we can actually show you that the test form and test it to show you that it goes from the form to the spreadsheet and again we want that required okay so we don't need any more responses right now so that's for testing purposes this will do just fine now up here you'll see where it says questions and responses so we'll go to responses now this here will also let you uh, create a spreadsheet to go with it but we don't want to use that one because for some reason it doesn't do what we want it to and we want to make sure that we get those responses of people filling it out so we're gonna click on the three little dots there and we're gonna get we're gonna select response destination okay now because we also don't have a spreadsheet at the moment uh, we want to choose the first option here to create a new spreadsheet that's going to go with our our test page okay uh, with our um, our form so but now if you let's say you have a spreadsheet that you've already created for some other purpose and you just want to reuse it you can select this option and then it will pop up a box letting you choose from the spreadsheet you already have in your Google Drive but at the moment we're going to go with this option because this is something new that we are we're starting okay and then you're just going to click create all right so with that now let's go back over to the Google Drive and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to see that now we have our test form in our Google Drive and we also have our test response spreadsheet okay so I'm going to actually double click and open up that spreadsheet okay and show you right now that it's empty all right so now we're going to go back over here to the Google Drive because I'm going to show you how to get the share link. So you're going to right click. It's going to come up with options here. You're going to click share. 
All right, this is the link you're going to copy right here. All right, and then just scroll down and you're going to click done. All right, and then what I usually do is I pull up a notepad so I can uh, save that link at the moment. And I'm using an old email address um, that I don't use anymore. The thing is, is when they're filling out the form, they need to put in a email address that is valid. Otherwise, the form will not go through. It will tell you that it's not valid. Okay, so let's minimize this at the moment. I'm going to pull up another browser here, and I'm going to paste the link in there. Okay, and this is what our form is going to look like. Now, you can change the uh, form, the way it looks, the colors, different things like that in the form before you send it out. You can add images, you can add videos, you can add description, all that kind of stuff. And I'll show you a little bit about that and show you where that is um, during this time as well. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to do this as test one, okay? And then I'm going to go down and grab that email address here and enter it okay and submit now this one here says submit another response so basically let's say that um, you have multiple people that um, are in one place you can actually click this and it will open up and they can enter another person's name there say maybe another family member or something or that type of thing so maybe you got multiple people in one family going so they're gonna everybody's gonna be there at the same time they can fill out the information right from one basically one area so and a lot of times um, in the settings area you can also change that uh, to where they can uh, maybe they made a mistake and you can allow them to actually also correct that mistake and re-edit their information okay so let's go back here and then let's go to our uh, our Google Sheet, and you can see here that it's entered the test one and the uh, email address. It also gives you a date and time that the information was submitted, um, so that kind of gives you an idea of when the information came in. Now, these here boxes will show up, okay, in the columns in the order that the form is, okay. For instance, though, if you change the order of this form. Um, there is used to be a way that this form you could actually adjust it or change it it doesn't seem to be letting me do that now so like I said Google has uh, updated some stuff but usually it used to be oh sorry maybe this is why um, let's see if it does it now oh there we go see the little uh, X there so and I can actually change it in that order but now that you see that I've changed it if we go back here it didn't change it here but you can change it here in whatever order you have on your form to match and you can do it by changing uh, the sh shifting the cells left or right so that the order here matches the order you have on your sheet here so um, you can also add um, an image okay here so let's go down because I'm not sure well, let's let's try this because um, I tried this before and it didn't let me so let's say it's a celebration um, happy birthday okay um, we're going to add that image right in there okay so we got the birthday image in all right um, and I can center it from here okay I can align it I can remove it I can delete it and again from here I can adjust it and move it up to a new section okay so now it's there I can move it up again okay I used to be able to okay I guess I, that's the top as far as I can go so here you can add a description for instance um, again if this is a birthday you can add a little description who the birthday is for and remind people what time it's going to be uh, with the date it's going to be that type of thing uh, you can add a video here um, I mean you, there's so much you can do um, here here's where you can add the video and here you can add uh, a selection I think is a description so I'll, another selection there separate selection so these are different things that you can do with this um, let's go back here let me show you a little bit um, about uh, the uh, whoops sorry um, show you um, some of the forms that are actually already templates okay so from a template and from the template that you choose you can do here's you know a birthday one private party private invites RSVP 
Um, and there's different ones you can choose from and everything else. And I'm not sure. I haven't gone in and played with these, so I'm not sure. Let's try one. I'm not sure if you can actually adjust, for instance, uh, the image or anything like that. Oh, yeah, here you can. Color. So you can customize your themes and everything else. So like I said, just you can play around these buttons and you can see, you know, what it allows you to do or change and, and different things like that. You can make the font different colors. You can make it bold, change the type of fonts. So it's it's pretty cool and it's very easy to, to use. So um, thank you for your time. I hope this video helped. Um, if you liked it, please share and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And again, I will place the link in the old video for anybody that has come from there. And I will upload this video up to YouTube so that it helps everybody out there. Thank you and have a great day.